Anna Flaude to Farida. Testing one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. That's how I give away I'm Australian, especially because our street address is 56. Where I'm from uh, is actually a wine region called McLaren Vale um, in South Australia. I'm actually the sixth generation of my family to be involved with wine growing. I think I can claim that when I was two, I did my first vintage. We had a lot of Italian neighbours who I guess influenced that. You have wine with food and it's part of that family environment. And I remember having a wine when I was about 12 or 13. I've had other wines before that maybe hadn't made an impression on me, but that's one I actually still remember. Jace, my husband's a Kiwi. We actually did a vintage together in Australia and you know, the rest is history, as they say. We'd sort of done our time working for other people and overseas harvest and that kind of thing. And then we heard that Te Whareira was for sale. I had seen it on previous visits to Marlborough, but when we actually signed up to buy it, I hadn't even <laughs> visited here. The thing I love about here is the big sky. It's so open, it feels so spacious. I guess I think that looks a little bit different than some others. We really like the hands-on nature of it. I love science at school. It's probably not the glamorous kind of life everyone thinks it is. We kind of sell that a lot of the wine industry, but it's, yeah, it's still farming. When we took over here, the old vineyard especially was really struggling. And a lot of people said to us, that old vineyard stuffed, you're going to have to pull that out and start again. Part of, I guess, our journey with this place was trying to bring that old vineyard back to life again. And to do that, we had to bring the soil back to life again. We started cover cropping straight away. We stopped using herbicide and then went down the pathway of getting certified organic. For me, organics, it's not a new thing in the wine industry. For you know, multi-generational people like myself, that was the way we always did it. A lot of the techniques we use are the same kind of things that my granddad did. Trying to not bring too much in from outside. So we make our own hay, we make our own compost. No herbicide, we use an undervine weeder instead. We plant cover crops between our vines to build up the soil structure and soil health. Because a lot of the life in the soil is microscopic and you can't see it, I think people overlook it sometimes. All the microscopic life that's in the soil can actually make our wines better and more interesting. So it's about looking after that, preserving it, improving it. There's a lot more science to it now, which I think is a cool kind of backup to realise knowing what we do works and it does make a difference. Part of the conversion to organic was we live on the property. It's our kids' home and, you know, they've thankfully gone past the age where they eat dirt. <laughs> but if they do eat dirt, I know it's just dirt. <laughs> I really love the concept of kaitiakitanga and what that means. Guardianship. You don't own it, you belong to it. It owns you. I guess that's probably a fair, fair term for what we do. It definitely owns us. It's the changes that we've made. That's one of the rewarding things. Soil that was now fully alive and it's giving you this amazing fruit. Especially when you know you can hand it on to the next generation. I want to make sure that whether it's to our girls or it's someone who comes after us, that we've left it in a better state than what we found it. <laughs> 